Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a lineup update on Madden 16 Ultimate Team. Uh, somebody requested it in a comment of one of my videos. They're like, hey bro, you should do a lineup update. And uh, you know, I just got 98 signature Ed Reed, 97 signature Isaac Bruce, so I figured now is a perfect time to update you guys with my lineup and you know show you guys who I got and ask you guys basically who you think I should get at what positions cuz there are some positions I need to upgrade at but nonetheless here is the lineup and we go in here and as you can see I got 93 Drew Brees team of the week edition at quarterback he throws dots he is really good compared to other quarterbacks I've used on Madden 16 and I recommend you guys getting him if you got the coins to spend on him I know he's going for like 150k ish that's how much I bought him for he's his price has probably dropped since then I don't know but you know I definitely recommend that card and at running back I got Adrian Peterson draft champs edition uh, he had a new card come out that was like 93 overall with some like team of the Week thing and it's better than this card and I was trying to sell this draft champs AP version but it, people kept like undercutting my bid or bid um, the price I put him up for so I wasn't even able to sell him but if I do end up selling him I will be picking up that 93 Adrian Peterson back up I got Dre Archer I run him on third down sometimes when I need to get like a toss play and wide receivers I've got Isaac Bruce as my first receiver Andre Reed as my second and then uh, journey to Amari Cooper as my third and then I got flashback Ted Ginn as my fourth a lot of people don't like Ted Ginn uh, his flashback card for some reason they say it sucks I personally love it I mean that 95 speed shreds defense and putting him at the slot or just as a fourth receiver is really really good and he's really good on kick return he's like a 99 on kick and punt return uh, fullback I've got this dude Henry Hynoski or whatever and people are like yo why don't you sell him and uh, the thing is is because I got him in like some free pack I don't know what it was but it's a pack where I'm not able to sell him in and he's like not auctionable it sucks because he goes for like over 100k because he's one of those rare cards in the captain set and back up I just got my tight end um, and tight end that's definitely a spot I might be upgrading in I used to have 92 Shannon Sharp but I ended up selling him because I didn't really like the card so if you guys have a good tight end besides Sharp that you would recommend and I mean keep in mind my coin total right now you know don't like uh, tell me some crazy like 1 million coin card that you want me to get because obviously it's not realistic but uh, my old line it's pretty good I mean I've got Walter Jones Steve Hutchinson so running to the left side definitely my strength uh, Nick Mangold at center he's pretty good uh, 89 and it's one of those non auctionable cards I got him in for the journey uh, solos, uh, Brian Linder and, uh, Brian Blaga or whatever, uh, them at, uh, right guard and right tackle, they're not the best, but they get the job done, uh, definitely positions I could upgrade in, and my defense, here we go, look at this, it's not that great as you can see, other than Ed Reed, of course, I've got Iloka at backup strong safety, Derek Brooks at left outside linebacker, he's pretty good, but, the rest of my linebacking core, it's a bunch of base elites, you know, I, I don't really know who to get, and I don't want to overspend, because I still want to keep a certain amount of coins, you know, so, you know, if I want to do something with the coins, I can. I got Style Master Glover Quinn at free safety, he's pretty good, and uh, Harrison Smith to back him up. My cornerbacks are decent, I've got Sean Smith, who's a budget squad beast, Pat Pete, once again, a budget squad beast, and I'm looking to get his draft champs version, I'm like... I have like 70 of the 100 badges required for it, so you know, might be grinding out draft champs to finish that up, and then maybe another lineup update then, because then I'll have a 90 Pat Pete at cornerback, and Dominique Rogers Camardi, it's probably the best gold corner in the game, I mean, he's got such good stats for a gold card, and it's even arguably better than this Sean Smith here. Then I've got Jonathan Joseph at the four. I just put a random one there. My D-line, horrible. It's it's horrible. <laughs> I mean, it used to be a little bit better, but I sold the good cards I had. I don't know why I wanted coins at the time, I guess. Uh, you know, base elites and then a gold. Uh, definitely positions I could upgrade in. And my specialist, you know, it's pretty good. I got Brandon McManus at kicker, and he's really good. He's got that 99 uh, kick power, 93 kick accuracy. So literally, I can kick field goals from like pretty much anywhere within the 40 yard or 45 yard line uh it's crazy like he's really good my kick return you know i just put bruce and reed there because i wanted to like have them on the field more since i just got them but realistically i would have ted ginn and then uh pat pete or cordero patterson on kick returns but i might keep isaac bruce he's pretty good at kick returns uh despite being only an 86 overall at that 
But that's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this lineup update. Like I said, leave a comment uh, telling me what player or players you think I should get. And, uh, you know, keep in mind the coin total I've got. But, yeah, that's been it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.